buy, sell, and trading. Now, some things to keep in mind when you're buy, selling, and trading is that uh, certain vendors will buy your your stuff for certain prices. Um, if you have weapons and stuff to sell, blacksmiths are they'll buy it for higher than if you take a weapon to an alchemist. They won't buy it for as much, but if you have alchemy ingredients, you sell it to him, he'll give you more. Um, you can probably sell it even um, more to other players as well. So who you sell to does matter, and you, every town has its own um, auctioneer and own NPCs. So if an item is available in one town, you can sell it somewhere else, and maybe make more if it's not available in the other towns. So, um, and some towns have more people than others for auction for the auction and and, and whatnot. Um, selling is actually pretty simple. We're gonna go into the blacksmith here. Steal this. <laughs> um, so I, I mean, I could theoretically, I could take all these if I want. I could take that triangle shield. I could take this uh, rusty longsword. I could try take this plate, you know, plate shed armor and sell it. But if you take stuff, um, obviously they don't like that. So you know, you get a bad reputation if you take stuff, and then they won't give you missions and quests and stuff. So anyway, we're gonna sell stuff that we've been looting because I'm over over some way a little bit. Um, so we're going to tell you we're going to go to equipment, or I'm just going to sell all these, all these crappy stuff that I, that I got from killing guys various places. My mug of ale, which is you equip like a sword, so you can hang out in, in the taverns and look like you're an NPC drinking stuff, or basically you can roleplay really well with it. It's kind of interesting concept that you equip it, so it's like attached to you. I like a weapon. I don't know if you push the attack button if it drinks it, that'd be pretty funny. That is that. As you can see, um, by selling this, um, here's my current gold. Here's how much I'm going to get for it. Here's my total gold. Now I can also not only can I sell, but I can also go to the shopkeeper and I could buy something. So, say I wanted um, a, a two-handed axe. I could click on that. I only want one. I hit OK. It adds it to the thing, and it takes the it takes this and this, and gives me all the difference. So basically, you can buy and sell all in one thing, and then you can sign for it. Now, I don't want that, so I'm gonna take it off. But um, it's an interesting way to buy and sell is just do it all at once. And if you have enough money, you're good to go. If you don't, they'll let you know. Um, this uh, this vendor sells much more than uh, the vendor in my in the starter. Like I, it's not really a starter city, but the beginning city. Um, actual basic named, no no named stuff, basically. Um, that's basically yeah, just no named longsword. Um, so instead of copper longsword, just no named longsword. Basically, no named gear and a little bit more too, like a heater shield that looks different. They all look different too. That's very interesting. They all have the same stats, but they look different. Very interesting. I actually like that idea. Just different visual looks. Two-handed swords, one hand or two-handed axe, one-handed axe, um, smaller shields, a heavy war hammer, two-handed hammer. That's cool. Uh, staff, spear, short bow, long bows, wands, a single-handed axe, two-handed mace. That's so cool that you have all these different various weapons. Just wait till they add things like uh, ball and chains and stuff. That'd be pretty cool. I don't know. What name would that be? Like a morning star or something? I might have that wrong, but that's pretty cool. Anyway, and then when you're done buying and selling, you basically sell. Sign your name, and you get the money. Um, every vendor is different. They don't all sell the same things, and they all have different prices. Um, auctioneers, auction is per city, so every city is going to have a different auctioneer. Different people are going to sell different stuff at different cities. Um, if you go into resident player resident areas, um, even in this city, if I go to a player resident area and they're selling stuff, um, they they're all going to have different stuff. So people might sell in the auction house, or they might sell out of their house. So um, someone who does a lot of selling and does a really good job could possibly, you know, have a lot of people come to his house all the time to buy stuff from his vendors because that's what that's how he makes it or where he makes it. And he's not willing to sell it in the auction house. He's only going to sell it through his vendors at his house. So it's kind of an interesting idea. Um, I saw this in Star Wars Galaxies, and a lot of older games have this concept. So 
it could be quite interesting that uh, way of doing all this. So anyway, that's that's basically buying and selling. You can again, you can trade stuff the same way: buy something in one auction house, sell it in another um, for you know huge markup. Who knows? Buy stuff from NPCs and sell it to the other NPCs in other towns and make and potentially make money. The NPC thing could be iffy, but uh, yeah. And you gotta make sure you sell the right stuff to the right place. Swords and armor, sell to vendors here, or sell to blacksmiths. <laughs> alchemy stuff, sell to the alchemy guy. Don't sell the uh, the the swords and armor to the alchemy guy. That's not gonna not gonna get the profit the same amount of money. So, but anyway, that's that's pretty much buying and selling right there.